Hey, how you doing? It's Chris from Stone Fox Media. Uh, I was checking out the news today and I found out about a story that caught my attention. Uh, it's about this uh, teacher named uh, Brooke Harris. Uh, she's a literature teacher in Michigan and Pontiac's Academy for Academic Excellence. And she was basically fired because she wanted to help her students, you know, voice their opinions and, you know, exercise their right for freedom of speech or whatever uh, regarding the whole entire Trayvon Martin case. And basically, they want to take a dollar and be able to wear hoodies for the whole entire day instead of their, you know, daily uniforms and then donate the money to Trayvon Martin's family. Well, the, the superintendent didn't like this. Uh, superintendent Harris apparently uh, said that, that she believed that the money should go to the community and, you know, it's okay for them to do fundraisers, but only basically for, you know, the community, not for cases or anything like that. And, you know, I can kind of, kind of understand where they're coming from because they got the whole uniform thing and you don't want to, you know, create exceptions to the rule or whatever. But, you know, this is a, a bit extreme. So apparently Miss Harris was uh, suspended for two days uh, for trying to, you know, bring this up the ranks or whatever. So while she was uh, on a break, she, uh, she attended a, a literacy fair where she, you know, organized you know, part of this whole entire Trayvon Martin thing. So when she comes back, she finds that, that she's been insubordinate and basically she needs to be fired. So, you know, have a nice life. Good luck to you or whatever. What I noticed well, that was messed up about this is that the superintendent came on and said, uh, I would never do this. This is, this is not something I would do. I would never just fire someone for a reason like this. Uh, I can't tell you why I fired her. There's no real reason behind it, but it was something. I promise it was something, but it wasn't this. So uh, apparently Miss uh, Harris never found out the reason why she was fired because if it wasn't for the whole Trayvon Martin ca case, then what was it? I mean, what was your logical reason to get rid of her? Are you maybe making up a reason right now? Are you opening up the books trying to see if she stole some pencils and erasers from the, <laughs> from the classroom? Has she been stealing chalk? I think she's been still in shock. So apparently your reason to get rid of her was so lame that you can't even tell the people why you fired her. All you can say is she was fired because of something. She knows what she did. She did something. Whatever it was, she was fired. I think what, what what's going on today is that is that people are, are, are upset about this whole Trayvon Martin case. You know, a lot of people don't, don't know that much information about it. But for what people do know, it's enough to make even a young teenager or a small child want to take interest in this whole entire case, in the unfairness of it. You know, you have a person who was walking down the street, and he was followed because he was walking. Now, most people can say, uh, you know, he was walking while, while black, or, you know, with some racial thing behind it. But let's, let's assume that that didn't happen. You know, let's just assume he was just walking, and the neighborhood watch guy wanted to follow him around for the heck of it. You know, so he calls 911. And 911, this is guy walking. He's doing this suspicious walking thing that human beings do when they walk down the street. And, you know, the 911 person says, you know, we don't need you to do that. But he says, you know, forget you. I'm going to follow you anyway. I'm going to follow this person. Now, imagine being a person that's walking. And you got someone in a truck behind you. And they keep following you block after block. And you're like, why is this person following me? So then this person, apparently, you did something even more suspicious to make this person magically get out of his vehicle and say, hey, what are you doing here? Now, I don't understand your reason for carrying a gun, Wyatt Earp, but what I do know is that if you're going to follow somebody, stalk them, basically, even though you had no legal right to do it, and then you come up to them. Let's say you were acting in self-defense. Was it really self-defense, or, or were you the actual instigator of the whole entire fight? Because if you go up to somebody and you got a baseball bat, and they got nothing but their bare hands, but you've been following them for blocks. And then you attack them, and then you start getting beat up by your own account. Then how do you have a right to say you're defending yourself? I don't understand. You start a fight, you get beat up, and now you have the right to kill them because you're getting beat up. But if you weren't getting beat up, then it would have been just fine. Now, do I believe this is what really happened? Not really. Do I really believe he had something racially motivated in here probably so especially with the whole things that he says 
you know, that little audio recording, you know, that little statement that he supposedly said, but he didn't say it because it's not clear and concise. But I think we all got the gist of it, you know. But basically, I don't think you should have the right to follow someone and then get mad at them whenever you lose the fight. You shouldn't have the right to stalk him in the first place. All that walking he's doing, man, you're going to have a real tough time if you come to New York. Because there's a whole lot of people walking, and you'll be chasing people all day. So, you know, I think it's, it, you know, it speaks volumes at, 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 the, at the youth in America and how, how people are, are noticing that something just isn't quite right with this whole entire story. So, I think that they should at least give her a reason why they fired her, or at least to make up a really good one. You know, something, something really good, something profound. And, you know, put it out there. But I guarantee you right now they're going through the records and finding something really jacked up that they can find. I uh, always think you were you're looking at the students cross-eyed or you stole too much lunch and loaf from the damn, you know, <laughs> school cafeteria. Whatever it is, you did it. And, you know, I see a lawsuit coming. That's all I'm saying.